Welcome back and thank you very much. We're getting straight into our paper review segment. But first, I'd like to introduce you to the Graphic News Plus app. If you haven't gotten the win well yesterday, uh, we had a conversation about it. And it's simple. You can always uh, use your phone, get news on the go on your mobile phone, either on your uh, Android or iOS or on your laptop or desktop, computer, whichever it is, once you log on to the graphic uh, news plus, you're good to go. So some of the headlines, just to show you how interactive the, the interface is. This is for junior graphic, and we often leave their kids behind, but now we're, we're trying to put them in, in it. Uh, congrats, it says, I mean, these are some uh, BEC to be scrapped after passage of law to redefine basic education. That's what the front page of the junior graphic is saying. How uh, do children keep safe and secure? Uh, that's also there. And, uh, well, you get the details. Let's check out what's on the front page of uh, the daily graphic, shall we? Okay, the daily graphic for today is, uh, okay, maybe graphic sports because yesterday there were contenders of the, uh, for the uh, GFA position uh, have, have been Nanaya Amposa, Amanda Clinton, Keto Kreku, uh, George Efriye, Fred Papo, George Ankama Mensa, and Wilfred Kweku Ose Palmer. They all want to be GFA president. Crucial time for GFA hopefuls as they face integrity test and the vetting. Interesting. Double bonus for Kotoko players. Ash Gold face Morocco uh, less. Okay. Mm. And uh, let's, let's see the daily graphic quickly and then we can uh, maybe graphic business. Well, graphic business, um, okay. And um, it's, it's talking about five special banks out of the woods. Finally, meet uh, 400 million Ghana City's minimum capital um, nine months after deadline. The capital requirement, uh, these banks have been able to, to get it. So UMB, uh, Prudential Bank, ADB, Omni Bank, and Investment Bank. Okay, and Bank of Ghana to review medium term uh, inflation target and corporate governance should one person serve as chairman and CEO. That's what uh, lawyer Niade Clegg is asking this morning on the front page. Um, I want to quickly get the daily graphic and then we can we can tick in. Okay, so uh, I'm trying to get daily graphic. Okay, so that's daily graphic right there. And it says, well, trial of three for arms possession, accused remanded by, but Dr. Mark Palm shouts, it's a plot as he leaves court. President addresses UN General Assembly today. And you can do better to address arms proliferation, experts tell security agencies. No new banking applications yet, the Bank of Ghana is uh, telling us. So those are the front page stories. And uh, you can always, always also get to interact with the uh, Daily Graphic, the Graphic Communications Group Limited, if you find um, the, the Graphic News Plus app which is out there for you. The Finder newspaper this morning also reports that three cage, two weeks over arms possession and alleged destabilization plot charges to be amended at Superior Court. And MPP Youth Wing urges tertiary students to join Tescon. Germany and UK deport 22 Ghanaians and South Dai residents appeal to government to fix roads. The Ghanaian Times, three plotters appear in court slapped with five charges Refused bill. Ghana could divorce sign map showing maritime boundary line. And president receives 2019 Focus Humanitarian Awards. Takeover of Aquitia Mines. We have invested substantially to revive mine. Just Pond Group cries out. Ekufuado receives Focus Award. That's the Daily Guide front page. Rousing welcome for two for four. Volta DC is fired. Alajo bomb doctor caged. And video shows suspects. Parking explosives. My guest this morning, Mr. Eric Chum, is a member of the NPP's communication team, and also the Honorable Adam Mutawakilo, the MP for Damongo, who uh, was victorious in his primaries to contest for 2020 election. Good morning, yeah, gentlemen. Good Eric, high five to you. Yeah, bro. Good. How's, how's the Wednesday morning going? Not bad. Um, it's a pleasure to be here, always. Um, mm. Good morning to yourself. And to my in-law, <laughs> <laughs> it's good to stress. It's good to stress that <laughs> yeah, I need to make sure yes. that I don't get You're, into trouble. That, that you are yeah. safe. I'm monitoring. Uh, you are uh, monitoring. Uh, yes. This morning he was making some call. I was wondering what who what, who was he talking to. <laughs> Unfortunately, he was talking to my sister. Well, but, but can you do that every day? 
Can yeah. you do the monetary yeah. every day? No, you know, any least opportunity you get, you have to monitor. <laughs> 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 to make sure my sister is safe. Your sister is safe. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we're reading that mm -hmm. the charges for, for the uh, three who were nabbed for allegedly, well, we, we had cool and so many other things out there. But if you look at the, the statement that the Minister for Information said, so we're trying to destabilize the nation and that there was a target at the presidency. Um, some have said that, well, it should have been treason in there. But then the lawyers are also saying that, look, if you look at the level of the court where they were arraigned before, you couldn't have brought charges of treason. So the amendment will come. So far, what do you see? What have you heard? And, and what do you make? I mean, yeah. this, is a, this is a sub issue, by the way. So. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, good morning to our cherished viewers, mm -hmm. and more especially the good people of Damongo constituency. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first and foremost is that when I heard this, uh, I was surprised, mm -hmm. shocked, that at this modern age, people will be plotting a coup. After we have experienced since 92 to date, uh, the democratic credentials that we had attained, mm -hmm. and that uh, people will be planning to stage a coup. It, mm. it will send us back 50 years down the lane. But as develop, the, the story develops, I begin to feel that the government was in panic and probably needed to divert attention. Really? Yeah. But they, they, they've been caught with, they've been caught pants down uh, yes. with locally manufactured ammunition. That is an illegal act. As to whether it is to destabilize the government, mm -hmm. it's another stage altogether. What does it take to destabilize a government? If people plan mm -hmm. to destabilize a government mm -hmm. or to plot a coup, mm -hmm. it is normally wide range. Mm -hmm. This arrest should have linked to several big wigs who have influence. Mm -hmm. I get him up and with the support of the military, a lot more people should have been arrested. Say some military persons have been arrested. No. Let, and, me, let, uh, me, let me come. Mm. Two, mm -hmm. in the pr production of locally manufactured pistols, mm -hmm. in a bid to destabilize a country, is a question mark. Mm. Are they now going to produce it? Okay. What are the evidence available that they were targeting destabilizing the country? Mm -hmm. But if we relate to instances that has happened, mm. much, much worse than this, it wasn't related, uh, uh, attributed to staging a coup. Mm. Possession and manufacturing of arms is illegal without authority. All right. And we expected that the security should have been those announcing the arrest of these people, okay. not, not the Minister for Information. Minister. And then why, why people so? now, why so? when there is a backlash, people now say, oh, uh, actually, uh, uh, we shouldn't uh, take coups to be, we shouldn't politicize. Mm -hmm. I thought that once the security have investigated, mm -hmm. they realized that these people were piling arms and to produce arms and due for arrest, mm -hmm. they should go in arrest and let the people of Ghana know that they have monitored these people over the period, mm -hmm. and this is what they thought they are going to produce, mm -hmm. and as such, they have been arrested. Mm -hmm. Now, but when you jump the gun, and the Minister of Information comes out to say they want to destabilize, we must be able to, they must prove be honest, the relationship between production of arms and destabilizing the country. Could, could it have been to, that the Minister for Information was, was speaking based on a briefing the CID, BNI, and the Defense Intelligence had given him? I, I would have wished that the security should have been the one spearheading this, not the politician. Oh, okay. Two, there are instances that has happened in this country that were not related to destabilizing a country, mm. where missionaries were brought mm. to train people in the handling of arms, not one, not two, not three people were trained. A group of people were trained, and it was busted. They didn't relate it to preparing the people to destabilize the government. Are you talking and about what the am South, I talking, South Africans? What am I talking about? I'm talking about 
the MPP government, mm. when in opposition, as opposition, brought in mercenaries from South Africa mm. to train mm. their youth, and they were busted. We didn't, President Obama didn't relate it to destabilizing, trying to overthrow the government. So you're saying the government we have is been crying in this wolf. country just recently, mm. Wale Wale, cash of arms were picked up. It didn't relate to to destabilizing this country. So, so what's your point? So the fact of the matter is that this count, this government realized that there are so many issues, be it PDS and several other ones that are on, on its neck. Mm. And there is the way, let's say, if we push out this one, it will divert attention from the critical economic issues that we are facing currently so that maybe will divert attention. But you you are not you're not downplaying this to say the government is setting an agenda to, to distract people and to switch attention. The, 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 the level at which they said it is what I'm looking at. Okay. Yes, somebody producing, uh, uh, preparing to produce illegal mm. arms. It's unlawful. It can be handled. But when you relate it to government, mm. that they want to overthrow a government, that is treason. Mm. And in that case, once the minister announce, announce it, then that means there are facts. I'm okay. Why now sending it to a, a, a junior court now superior to amend charges? And, that means you have concrete facts to go ahead and charge them. But it is becoming evident that it is not yet towards destabilizing the government. Is it, is it not a matter of procedure that they went to to a, a smaller court and then they will graduate to a, a superior court, the, the, a the, lower court, and to the, a the court. minister said they want to destabilize the government, right? And that is treason. Mm. I'm okay. Right. He has already concluded. They intend to destabilize the government, mm. and I think that with this one, it is a serious matter that must be taken serious, mm. and the appropriate court must handle it. Do you get my point? Mm. I'm not a lawyer. The appropriate court. And the charges must be clear. Okay. Because he has announced it. Okay. So the present charges for Dr. Mark Palm, together with Donya Kafui and uh, alias Ezo, is a blacksmith. And Mr. Bright Alan Debra Ofosu, a freight manager, have been jointly charged for conspiracy to commit crime, to wit manufacturing of arms and ammunition, and possession of explosives, firearms, and ammunition without lawful authority. Eric, why is there no treason charge? <laughs> is, is government, is government is it, throwing us something to, uh, to divert our attention, like you see, Adam Utawakilo says? Well, um, I'll say good morning to the viewers of TV3. I think mm -hmm. I've said good morning to the two of you already. Um, so I, I think that uh, some of these things really uh, brings to the fore uh, a certain level of hypocrisy in terms of how we look at things. I mean, so in one breath, um, government is responsible for all the security mishaps that happen in this country. Mm -hmm. In another breath, when actions are taken mm -hmm. and decisions are made in respect to uh, even these things that were found on these gentlemen, mm -hmm. plus other evidence that suggests that they were actually uh, planning something that, and you see, you have to read the statement of the Minister of Information carefully, mm. an attempt to destabilize the government, mm. uh, especially at the presidency. The presidency right. um, there was absolutely no mention of a coup d'etat. Mm. Those are two different things. You know, that's what, what I'm saying. That, and this, what did that, what no, no, did that, what well, let me finish. No, destabilization could be anything. Like and what? Like even what? an attempt on the life of either a senior government official or somebody at the presidency or a security installation destabilize it's, it's an affront to the security of the state is i mean it, sometimes is, is it so easy it, to get into the presidency i'm worried let me make i'm worried let me make my point no i'm asking a question you, you're not i'm not a security expert okay i'm just making the point okay vis-a-vis -vis the issues that is actually mm -hmm. on the on the table mm -hmm. i'm saying that this whole idea that a government would 
issue a statement like this mm. uh, in attempt to divert attention. Attention from what? So government decides to uh, put out this information so that if one individual, an ordinary citizen of this country feels that they are going through some hardships or going through a hard time, mm. that will take that away. I mean, sometimes we have to give ourselves some credit. Mm. It will take that away if you're going through hardship today or you're going through either financial uh, turmoil or you've lost your job or something. Mm. The fact that government puts out this statement would make your issues go away. But it, says but it, will, we have it, will, to it will take away some of the issues, PDS, No, CSS, but you see, that is... That is the you see, kidnapped academy. Yeah, let's see, but those are people's imaginations. Okay. You can conjecture and you can speculate. Mm. But the truth of the matter is that I think that the security agencies need to be commended. These issues are extremely fluid. Okay. And I'm sure that as we sit here, we do not have the full detail mm. of even what the security agencies found. Mm. Now, the whole idea where there's people trying to snigger and ridicule the whole conversation and say that these are, arms are not enough to destabilize the mm. government, mm. it's laughable. You've had lone rangers, people, lone, lo we call lone people, one mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. being able to assassinate a president, even in jurisdictions that are supposed to have better security apparatuses mm -hmm. than we have. Mm -hmm. And you say that that would not be able to destabilize a country. We were in this country where somebody had two, a gun or and two, uh, 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 what do you call it, bullets in it, mm -hmm. that went to the church of a, a certain president. Right. And the person was jailed. Assemblies of God. Yes, you know, and so this whole conversation, and you always find it an, an avenue to bring politics into the matter. Fine. But the truth of the matter is that the security agencies have done what they are meant to do mm. to, in cases like this, be able to find out exactly what people are planning mm. and in record time, in good time, be able to, to, stop, to stem it. And for me, that is a conversation we should be having. This idea about treason and all of those things is, a, 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 is, is, is an, uh, what do you call it? It's a subject that when the processes start, mm. and like I indicated, as we speak, there's even a, a legal vacation. Right. And so the processes are started. It's all the whole essence of democracy, giving an opportunity for people to also, even in us, all the evidence that has been found, mm -hmm. right? They have, Ghanaian citizens. So mm. you need to give them the, you can't keep them forever to start with. You understand? So it has to activate a particular process, legal process, mm. which is within the confines of a constitution. Mm. And then if it happens that there's further evidence, we've done that so many yeah, times yesterday, in this Yesterday, the, the and so, counsel for the accused yeah. persons, uh, lawyer Kujuga Daudu, raised a concern about why his clients were going to be kept for for, if you will, two weeks because the rate as he saw it and the, the earlier announcement and the charges that were brought, there was a disparity in there. No, but he, had asked the, he had asked the judge why that was so. And the prosecution says, well, it is to aid them to do investigation. So yeah, they brought a wrong, wrong charge sheet. Who, bro who or, brought or, the wrong Which was, in, I mean, it, it's there. Who brought the wrong charge sheet? Ye yesterday. Who brought a wrong charge sheet? The, the prosecution. Brung, brought a, a wrong charge they, sheet. They brought, they brought the charge sheet that the, the uh, lawyers for the accused thought it was not proper. Yes, and then but they were so asking and you made a determination was a wrong charge. No, they were, they that was not determined by the judge who has the competence well, to the go judge, through. The judge asked the question yes. of the prosecution, yeah. and the prosecution was that so that they are able to keep them and run their And what was the decision of the judge? Well, that they be kept in there. Exactly. Mm. So, you see, sometimes I... I, I, I I have a, a bit of a challenge. Do we mm. want to do this rule of law thing or not? Mm. You have a right. I have a right. Right. The processes that have been activated are not in, uh, what do you call it? It's, it's in tandem with our constitution. Mm. Has anybody's right been actually infringed upon? No. Mm. That, that, and was, that, is exactly, that was what the lawyer yeah, was Yeah, but the lawyer that. is also there mm. to defend his clients. Okay. Right? And within the same confines of a, a constitution that we've actually said that we want to be governed by, mm. and the judge made a decision. Listen, you see, we, we keep saying that we are doing this thing. Yesterday, there were two landmark issues. One, in the United Kingdom, mm. where a Supreme Court goes and says that even when the government has decided that the, the processes parliament, parliament. that it took to shut down parliament mm. was 
by convention and through a proper legal process. The Supreme Court sat there and said, you were wrong. It constitutional. You were wrong. You understand? Mm. And that is the whole point. So governments or decisions that are taken by agencies or individuals who either work for government or uh, are science of government mm. and everything can always be protested, can always be uh, questioned mm. through the proper legal processes. Mucha and so when we, mm. when we do these things and almost as if that we can throw the constitution aside, when it fits us, I mean, and it's expedient to us, yes, let's go ahead and use it. But in cases where we are doing all of this, you see, we, you mentioned, you mentioned oh, Takrade girls and all of those mm. things. But it was almost as if that the, the police or the security agents, or even by right. extension the state, mm -hmm. is the one that actually perpetrated the act. Because, you see, people expect that the state will protect them. Okay. But now, but in, Akilo, a case, Akilo, for in, in a case, ask the question. In a case where, in a case where, oh, hold on for me. in a case where something unfortunate had happened, mm. without the security agencies acting with dispatch in the manner that they have, mm. the same people that are talking today, okay. and I've heard so many different. They, they'll experts. be the ones to come to say. Yes, that. experts who are saying that oh, they don't have the capacity. Others too have said that they have the capacity. You understand? Or that even the attempt and even conspiracy. Okay. Conspiracy, but, which but, is basically sitting in a room somewhere. Sitting in a room somewhere. Like you, you, right? you, you in a room somewhere. Uh, uh, planning that in, in itself Adam. is an affront uh, to the other democracy. What actually raises a question that I thought you should also maybe see if we can answer it. Uh, that why isn't the, the police CID has a PRO, the BNI has a communication outlet, or maybe not. The DI has the military PRO or the public affairs director. Why aren't they the ones speaking? Why did they have to take the information minister? And by extension, could that be an admission that uh, government is taking charge, uh, perhaps taking the win out of the sale of the, the, the security agency? What, what is it? Why, why w did they have to take the information minister to make this announcement if the target was really at the presidency and he speaks on behalf of government? I'm just curious to learn. No, but the information minister would get briefing from different quarters. And depending on what the protocols are, will come out and give information to the people of this country. Okay. Now, for some <laughs> issues of this nature, which take a certain, uh, if you like, uh, national security implication, mm -hmm. right? It's imperative that you speak to the people. You give the facts as it is. Mm -hmm. The Minister of Information did not go ahead to make any categorical statement or emphatic statement. Mm -hmm. And if you read the statement, properly. You see, people have decided to take certain aspects of the uh, information mm -hmm. and run with it, nitpick. Mm -hmm. But what he says that these are the things that has happened over the last 15 month or 18 month period. These three people have been uh, uh, been tracked, mm -hmm. they've been monitored, they've been seen to be doing X, Y, Z, and it got to a point where the security agencies had made a decision that it's about time that they are the actions and things, activities that they are mm. uh, undertaking are brought to a halt and the processes, the legal processes is taken against them because they have been able to garner enough information. Would you rather, so, would you rather this so, was left, would you so rather this was left would, for the security would, I mean, to, to, to uh, make the announcement? I mean, you see, would he, you rather, he has, he has, he has, you get your, he, he has an opinion. Right, and I respect divergent views. Would you? Would you would but you? I feel that there's also absolutely nothing wrong okay. with the Minister of Information, who is meant to be essentially the the chief spokesperson for government, because this all of these things have uh, national security implication, mm. and the state is ultimately responsible for the security of this country by government by extension. So I don't see anything wrong what, what do you with say? the Minister of Information. What do you, what do you, you say? See? Finally, you see? finally, what do, you, what do you say to? Uh, those who say that, well, the minister in, I think, at um, five or six, mentions that some serving military officers were complicit in this and goes ahead to list the names of Mr. Mark Palm, Dr. Mark Palm, Izo, and the identities of these soldiers, even though they are identifiable by their unit numbers, their units, their regiments, whatever it is, have been kept in the dark. And all we keep hearing is that some people have been picked no, up. But what would you say to that? I'm not a security expert. But these things are very, if you like, very sensitive in the way it's dealt with. To the point where it's on record that some attempts were made to recruit some uh, 
seven soldiers and even create some action groups to mm -hmm. engender mm -hmm. some kind of public support. And they went and all to test the yes, explosives. Yes, explosives and all of those things. You see, so it's okay for political expediency. And that's where I have a big challenge to discount all of this evidence, to create a certain impression that for us everything is about politics. You understand? And don't, don't you think that if the, the police, no, because, if the police because, had made that announcement, yeah. this whole politics no, would it have is, arise? So, is, you see, police can make an announcement, and the public or the citizen, and he's a member of parliament, okay. can still expect government or even decide to call the minister of interior. And they, he sits in parliament. Mm. Even call the minister of interior to come so to parliament mm. and yeah. answer specific questions. Mm. They have done that so many times. Okay. So that's why I'm Let saying that. You. Okay. you see, in this... You see, Public okay, discourse. Quick, quick, quick. In Th this public discourse, in this public discourse, right? Consistency is also extremely important. Otherwise, it becomes a flip flop thing. Haven't under the watch of the NDC, certain things have happened where it had been actually purported that is an attempt to either destabilize the country mm -hmm. or some security uh, breaches have happened and they have dealt with it. This is an ongoing okay. thing. Thank so you. this whole Adam, idea that... And I'm stepping, and I'm stepping from it. That, that's your in-law speaking, please. Yeah, so this whole idea that <laughs> it's an attempt... Allow, by allow, your, allow your in-law to speak. You, know, you see, to I said... It's really ridiculous. Allow your in-law to speak some. Destabilizing a government, right. an announcement by the minister was not necessary. Eric says, we all that's, know, that's your opinion. We that's all opinion. know mm. that uh, issues of this could be handled in a manner without creating panic, mm. fear and panic in the public. The, the it could be, they fear could be panic. arrested. Let me tell you. They could be arrested, mm. processes starts, everything going on very well, and the people will, the ordinary Ghanaian will go as quiet, as smoothly as possible. Did the minister create panic? I very big panic when you come and say the government wants to destabilize a government you know what is a government it's not just one person who. when you say you want to destabilize a government that means that the entire government mm. you want to take over see, and come with Allah, 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 Allah. and i expected that the security agencies should have handled this okay. in a manner that will not create any fear and panic. Is that why there's politicking going on? But whereby... Is that why there's politicking going no, on? No, you see, whereby you, you a minister of question. information... You have not answered my question. No, it's because of the certain conclusive statements okay. that he made in an attempt to destabilize the government. Mm. That is purely a form of a coup. Mm. Are you getting my point? And it becomes public. So people want to know, what have they done? What have they... What are they then you are showing us kitchen knives and what have you? Yes. That, that is not the official <laughs> no, no, not the official <laughs> No, that <laughs> it could. People could take so many ways to destabilize a country. But, is, but that is not the official is, photo. No, I'm just... I'm just <laughs> no, but that's a is, foul they, photo. Yeah, so they just it is the relevance of, of the security agencies mm. to act swiftly, to make sure things go on as normal as possible for Ghanaians mm. while they handle it. But the way you make an announcement is a different matter altogether. Okay. Mm. And that is why I said the Minister of Information need not come and release a statement yeah. or say er anything. Eric says it. that's your opinion. That is, that, is, so, so, uh, that is what I have seen. Okay. And therefore, that they should have left it to other the security. issues, mm. the police have investigated and arrested people with arms and handled it without creating this type of uh, fear and panic among the public. Mm. That is why I said there is an agenda, pre economic pressure on these people mm -hmm. and the scandals that we've seen over the period. And they want to just divert attention. Er Eric Even says though, this doesn't what, wish what, anything what, away. What these people are, they <laughs> have done yeah. is not, it's illegal mm. and need to be arrested. Remanded, yes, I support that they should be remanded. Okay. Because in any investigation of this nature, what the minister said attempted to, even if they were not attempted to stabilize, destabilize mm. the country, mm. as said by me, it is very important that they are mandated and proper investigation. But, but you are the same yeah. people who are saying that, look, there's insecurity, but, the, you can't find it now. Now they go and find people who <laughs> are see, perpetuating no, what no, no, may no, cause no, no, insecurity. Let me, let me come. And, and you are complaining. I never indicated that their arrest is not the best way. 
Okay. No. All right. You are saying that I'm it, saying that it's been anything blown out of, of this nature, the property need to be done. They mm. should be arrested. And that is why I went ahead to say that remanding them for me, mm. I think that is proper okay. for proper investigations to be mm. done. But making conclusive statement mm. or intended conclusive statement that they wanted to destabilize the country is where I have an issue. No. Okay. So let, let's talk, let's, let, let, no, let's let the conversation Johnny. dovetail into small arms proliferation. See, Johnny, mm. can I make a point? You see, uh, remember when Honorable Kennedy Japan mm. uh, was purported to have made some statements prior to, I think it was the 2012 elections. Mm. It was in the heat of the elections. In the heat of the elections, where um, he made some remarks on radio or something. What remarks? And the what did he NDC... Say? What did he say? No, it doesn't matter. I don't, I don't have no, to repeat that. I have, no, listen, you see... You're making this reference is a, to this is, a, this is a platform that no, no, we know I have a lot of uh, respect. You won't uh, get me to do No, no. I, I won't, I'm, no he no, made but, certain but, remarks. But you are, you're going... He made, he made, I, 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 made, don't, I don't know. Right. And, and he was arrested by then NDC government. Okay. And former president, Kufo, came and said, well, uh, you're treating this issue mm. with a, a sledgehammer. A certain vice president at the time said that, no... We are going to use a bulldozer. But, to but, you but, see, but, but and that individual, listen, listen. How do we I remember, listen, listen, you, you the remember because it is not. Listen, 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 listen. That you're I'm just there. making the point that you see the hypocrisy mm. and the inconsistency when it comes to these people is nauseating. Does it? Because does you it, see, it when you do that, when you do, no, you see, when you do that, and that was based on commentary that somebody was meant to have made mm. in this particular case. The same security agents, and the security agencies have been changed, right. regardless of which government is in power, have gone and done their work, have ascertained that there were certain acts and uh, 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 commissions that were being done to destabilize the state, mm. and have made an arrest. And there's clear evidence of uh, purchases that have been made, arms and plans and people that they've spoken to mm. and everything. And he said, that, no, that's in itself. That. It's so, not. So, so it's you know, so it's somebody said, so, "I can tell you that the security agencies have been changed, but their leadership have changed." No, but that's over is, time. That, they change. Is, they change with government. Me, yeah, but that is me, that is up to them. I don't oh, but really but if the leadership to, changes, I don't want to debate. Them. Them. I don't want to debate them. But I'm just saying that you see, it's imperative that we take some of these things a bit more seriously. Which is why, which is why I wanted to talk about yes, proliferation of small arms because we keep talking about the fact that you know we have a small arms commission. We say it is not good to have these small arms all over the place, and especially the locally manufactured ones. Mm. And now we're having people having the gonads to manufacture them. We're still in an hospital. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you don't know, you don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, you would never have suspected that something of this nature is happening. But thanks to our security agencies for bringing this to light. Will, will this proliferation of small arms ever end? I Will was it? Um, listening to Dr. Eni. Okay, Chris Eni. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, I think it was yesterday. And he made some really stark uh, revelations in terms of even, I think, somewhere as far back as 2005, the amount of small arms, locally manufactured mm -hmm. arms that we actually had in this country, and made some extrapolations as to the numbers that he thinks that we would have now. Mm -hmm. Then that's also coupled with our geographic location where we are in a sub-region where we are surrounded by uh, countries that have had issues to do with terrorism right. and certain acts of uh, instability, mm -hmm. plus the porous borders that we've had. And some of the border, I mean, basically you don't even know the difference between mm -hmm. Uh, rich country because mm -hmm. there are families and relations that live across. Take their and come and address yes, here. and all of those things. So we are in, we are in a very, uh, if you like, uh, peculiar situation when it comes to these things. I believe strongly that the call mm -hmm. that was also made by Dr. Ainin that suggests that for us as citizens mm -hmm. we would have to be a bit more, if you like, switched on, so that we can be able to support the security agencies to be able to read out some of these things. Mm. And then also, if you like, a pragmatic uh, solution to some of these things. Okay. Because there are issues to do with uh, 
religious extremism, mm. uh, young people who would take advantage of it and uh, uh, indulge in crime and criminal activities and all of mm. those things. And then other people who have uh, some, if you like, political or even ag agitated by mm. certain things and would want to destabilize governments and create chaos and all of those things. So it's something that for me, uh, we need like a, a more hands-on uh, approach to it. Do, and even the way the technology bits, I mean, mm -hmm. I was more even worried about the fact that really the things that people put together, they're talking about IEDs, which okay. is uh, improvised, N uh, improvised. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. uh, uh, detonation and all of those things, which really essentially you can go to the market and put one Pepper, a few things in, here, and, then, and then all of those needles things. And, you get and with the advent of technology and what's basically is, uh, pertaining elsewhere on online platforms and everything, it's something that we have to have a more holistic view of it and be able to track these things. Listen, Do if you look at... Any proposes three if things. If you look he at says one, that because there are two million mm -hmm. guns in circulation, illegal, mm -hmm. We should try and create, find out one, why people procure these locally manufactured mm -hmm. guns. And two, find out how we can create alternative sources of employment for them so that they are not lured into it. And number three, make sure that we tighten security in every way that we yeah, can. So it's, it's almost. But me, for key among them is the alternative sources of employment for these that, people. That is a given, but it's also uh, try knowledge that. The areas where these small arms are actually uh, manufactured mm -hmm. are in areas where we've had some historical uh, tribal, tribal feuds, feuds, feuds and all sorts of things, which means that the, 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 the crux of the matter is that those things have to be stemmed, mm -hmm. where we have to find some long-lasting solutions to some of these things. Because when, in a certain, in a local sense, if they feel that they are going to be under attack or there's some kind of uh, tribal, uh, I mean, uh, confrontations and all of those things. That happens. But then that's what actually percolates into the entire, uh, if you like, national uh, system. So we have to deal with these things. And then also, of course, employment. But if somebody wants to engage in acts of criminality, it's not necessarily something that just offering them employment will stop. The but there has, to, there has to be a way. I mean, I remember a time when, I think Honorable remember, when there was some amnesty given to uh, people who had these arms mm -hmm. and were meant to bring it and we get right, some right. sort of thing for it. Uh, Maybe we can go back to an honorable act model, yeah, so something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You see, uh, my first and foremost, my brother was mentioning about uh, the utterances of Canada Japan mm -hmm. in the heat of an election, where he said that something should take knives and what have you, if you see an ever or a that gun. Is you know, it is it is it is yes, it's it good I repeat it. I let the people know. We all know election and the passion Ghanaians have for and how utterances can trigger, if not the maturity of Ghanaians. This could have resulted in a lot of deaths and therefore it should be taken seriously. And that was what President Amma did. <laughs> now, when you come to small arms, first of all, you look at how frequently do we have conflicts. Conflicts that could have been resolved some years ago by simple quarreling, insulting each other, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, you make peace. On boundaries, land. Now, any small thing results in mass killing. Right. That tells you that availability of arms is there. And when you have an arm, your ego mm -hmm. is different, it's different mm -hmm. right. than when you don't have an arm. Yeah. So it it's tells you that there's proliferation <laughs> of arms. <laughs> Two, you look at the various uh, robbery cases. Mm -hmm. That normally should have been normal. She, uh, you say nine, mm -hmm. mostly ends up with guns. Mm -hmm. And in a small attempt, you kill. Even mobile money vendors, mm -hmm. you go to rob. <laughs> You could have robbed this person without necessary killing. But because the proliferation is so high, mm -hmm. it resulted in killing. We all witnessed just some few weeks ago, right. within a month, five mm -hmm. policemen mm -hmm. at their various check posts were shot and killed. It is because the arms are available. 
alternative jobs. That's what Dr. One, Eli says. We Create also need to know at what periods mm. most of these tribal clashes and land disputes do we normally have this? Or uh, clashes of this, mostly dry season, mm. where most of the youth are not so much engaged into farming and other activities. Okay. Mm -hmm. The devil for, is a, a workshop for the devil. Mm. Mm. And once they can easily obtain those things, then other things come up. First and foremost, I support 100% mm -hmm. alternative livelihood. It's right. very critical. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to earn a living. And once you earn a living, which you are comfortable with, mm -hmm. it is very difficult to influence. Mm -hmm. Some of these youth engage in those things. It's because somebody probably he knows that by engaging in that, mm -hmm. one, he'll be taken care of. Or he's committing it because he also wants to make, uh, to earn a living. Mm -hmm. And even though some just engage it because that is their business, mm -hmm. irrespective of whatever they receive, they still, they, they will still that go back to it. It takes less than uh, two minutes or ten minutes to end match, and therefore they engage in it. Now, first of all, security agencies okay. must do their work, mm. and they must be allowed to do it. Third one. Who is, who is preventing them the from doing their work? The government must not. Who is preventing them from doing their work? I'm coming. That is where I'm okay. heading to. The government must not intend to protect their own who are committing crimes. Like what happened in Kumasi where the regional security officer, national security officer was attacked. Mm. A judge was attacked. And instead of you, the government, Nana Kufuado, showing but, example but, I mean, come to on. deter wait, them. Wait, 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 wait. There was a, there was a court case. Let me come. The wait, minister wait, 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 for... Uh, there, there was a court case. Them. They were charged. They were fined. <laughs> and and finally, no leave prosecutor. Yeah. Okay. No leave prosecutor. No evidence. Yeah, okay. You don't gives, believe in them. It gives credence to the fact that I can go and do whatever mm. I want to do. Mm. Once I align myself to uh, party A, at the end of the day, I'll be allowed Way forward. to Way forward. go through. Way forward. One is we as Ghanaians mm. must report. That is the first stage by, by which okay. we can retrieve the, most of these arms. Mm. Anybody having this arm, a colleague or a friend somewhere knows that, oh, this person has an arm. Mm. It is our responsibility to make sure we report to the appropriate authority mm. to validate whether he has legally acquired it or illegally. Anybody producing this local arm somewhere, somebody, two or three people knows that this person, that is That's what he's doing to earn a living. Yes. And must do the, the right thing by reporting. Okay. In the Western world, even if you move around a, a, an area strangely, okay. they report. Right. Before you realize you are being questioned. An old woman somewhere else. So, <laughs> very, very important that cover. we mm. must open our eyes. Mm. We must sh ensure that it is our responsibility okay. on any of us to report any incident of that. Okay. Because you could be the next target. Right. Let's read some of your messages on WhatsApp 020216663. Going to the screen now. Check out what you have been sending to us on WhatsApp this morning. And, um, well, okay. Hmm. You have generated a lot of conversation on WhatsApp. I'm very surprised that this MPP government is afraid of alleged coup attempts. Why? Was it not this government's UP tradition that introduced coup d'etat in Ghana in 1966? If coup d'etat is bad, then why did they stage the first coup in 1966 to overthrow Dr. Nkrumah's government? Is their evil deeds now haunting them? Asanko Santa Maria. Uh, well, <laughs> I remember General Ankara saying that they did it themselves. So how you're connecting that to the UP tradition. I, I wonder where you learned your history from. DJ Omale in the Wyose in Gosu says, all the wicked people planning evil against our beloved country, Ghana, will surely die before their time. God bless Ghana. Uh, God bless Nanado and MPP government. Regards to Honorable Martin J. Mensa Kosa. Okay. Uh, good morning, host. <clears throat> Sometimes I struggle to believe if some Ghanaians really know what they want. We're crying for insecurity. Today, the government and the security agencies have done well in tracking down a group of people whose operations would destabilize the government and bring, in secure, and bring security, uh, insecurity. And this is the way we applaud them. Uh, no matter how small in size the arms are, they can kill uh, if applied on any human being. So based on the size of the arms to conclude that their operations cannot be purported uh, towards coal is a non-starter. Good morning, TV3. I'm Rafiu. 
watching, watching from Gwolu, Sisala West District. Uh, it's Adam and the NDC claiming ownership of the uh, alleged coup plotters. They should stop their usual politics with this matter. It's serial destabilization of the country. Good morning, TV3. Yes, I remember Gwolu very well. Lima's hometown, uh, Dr. Lima. <laughs> Good morning, TV3. Uh, my worry is if government is importing these kind of weapons and it has come to our realization of some Ghanaian citizens manufacturing them, why don't you recruit them uh, to produce more? Self-reliant agenda. GH, okay, you're saying uh, Ghana, Ghana beyond aid. Okay. Well, Anjana Kutia says, for me, I think uh, we should send our country, Ghana, to the international market to sell it so that each of us get our share and forget about it because it uh, becomes slaves again. Why? Hypocrisy and dishonesty is all over. Well-dressed young men and women uh, were captured on video at the castle. We named them militia. Another group is caught, including medical doctor with no surgical instrument, uh, but with guns, explosive knives, among others, in this clinic. And we're saying it is not a threat. What kind of country is it? I swear, next time the cathedrals where priests live, uh, we will also gather sophisticated weapons, not literatures and Bible anymore, if uh, these people don't suffer the consequences. Fuseni in uh, Sani Turawa, as a man says, says, Good morning, Johnny, and your panelists. Johnny, be frank, uh, this so called coup plot is a complete joke. The government must be serious. Good morning, Eric. Comparing someone going to AG uh, Assemblies of God Church to uh, shoot and kill JM with his five uh, gun issue is showing the extent of MPP's incompetency in everything. The gun man himself confesses he went to the church to kill GM. But Powerful guns were on the way to Wale Wale, and that is not seen as cool. Okay, and uh, why, uh, why, Nana, from David in San Arigo, and someone in Kwabina, uh, some Kwabina in Sunyani says, Good morning, TV3. In fact, I really enjoy your morning show. It's the best among the rest. We well, thank you very much. If you send us a lot more of your messages, we'll be happy to share them with the rest of the world. But one, one quick question, though, Eric. The minister prepared a press kit and didn't add an official photo to it. Couldn't that be the reason uh, you have speculations that people are sharing all manner of photos? An official photo. You see... An official a, photo. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Now. This is a security uh, issue. Now, um, An official photo of what you seized? No, no, but it's not always done because you also give an impression to the other people who we call copycat uh, perpetrators. I mean, the security people will mm -hmm. tell you to also have all sorts of ideas. You know, so, you see... So, but the, 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 the pictures that are circulating now, but, they are locally but, manufactured pistols. Yes, but you see, it's, we have to be very careful. Okay. Government has a responsibility, right? And so, like, we sat here and you were asking me to repeat stuff and all that. I have a, a personal responsibility. Mm -hmm. And if things happen, you would have to take responsibility for it. So it's not in the interest of any government to be showcasing arms or ammunition that people But, but the police together. show it all the time. Yeah, when but police, it doesn't when matter. When the police get people it doesn't who have manufactured see, local it, guns, it, 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 it doesn't Johnny, matter. Johnny, 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 it doesn't matter. You see, it's imperative that we look at this state from a perspective of not being all, always cynical about decisions that have been taken by it, government. It, it, is it, is because, it cynicism? Yes, it is. It is to a certain I, I think, extent. I think, I think because that, you I see, the reason that, Eric, the Eric, reason that Eric, things of... Eric, hold on. Uh, let, me, let me ask you a quick listen, question. Things of a national you, security you have, interest. You have, you have, as a ministry, provided a three-page uh, uh, press release mm -hmm. detailing the items that you seized mm -hmm. and you have not added the photo to it if graphic wants to do a front page story which picture do they use yeah but so but it is they, consistently they, this man's picture yeah. which is on the front page of the daily graphic yes. which is being imprinted in the minds of the people what if he is not found guilty what happens to him how does he redeem his image oh but everybody in it's it's all within the contest of a democracy and a tenets of rule of law. But if, that if, when if people happen, are, not put yourself yeah, in this no, man's shoe, oh, if it happens to yeah, you, yeah. how would you redeem your image? Because, it's, unfortunately, in the this, this, this scheme of things, the way we run these things, people are accused all the time. People are given an opportunity to go through the legal process. And if they found not guilty, you're not guilty. You, 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 know, you know why? You know yeah, why people yeah. are mocking the you, people yeah. are mocking the government doing the doing the uh, cool challenge. It is because you have refused to give the people the official photo. That's not what I'm but pointing you see, you That to. is not. That can also be irresponsible okay. on the part of government, that especially okay. when it comes to okay. when it comes to when it comes to issues to do with security. Okay. And I'm saying to you that it is not government or any responsible state 
actor. That will come and give us details of uh, uh, equipment and chemicals and things that people can use to make detonators and bombs and all of this. It is please. not okay, that please. responsibility. Thank you. Let and me, also, yeah. to give that people is, the impression you, of what it is that they can use. Okay. And so, for you to, you see, that's what, what I'm saying. See, earlier, about, uh, that that earlier, 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 you said that, earlier, you when Muta Wakilu said that, well, this is a diversionary tactic. You said that, well, yes. this cannot wish away anything. Yeah. So, how does presenting a picture you see, get people to start manufacturing guns. Oh, no. you're, you're using your same you're, 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 you're missing I, two I'm things. You're, you're, you're mixing two things. This, am I? Yes, you are. Okay. I mean, if, you, just, if you give it the opportunity, I'll explain. They just want to divert explain. attention. No, okay. see, if the security were made to spearhead this, mm. they would have come out with the pictures, arrest them with whatever they, they were preparing. Mm. I'm not sure the minister has even seen what the, the security told him. That's you, you can't be sure. I'm not sure. And that's why you, you said you're not sure. That's what I'm not, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, so, so why are you saying it? So that is why <laughs> even the statement didn't accompany any picture to show. But whatever is described in that statement, people will get similar things to show. But, but the, so the, you the, don't minister, the minister could so have been briefed. Or I, has been I briefed know. That. I believe that mm. the minister was panicking because of the several issues that are surrounding this but government. How does... How and they just wanted to away, change attention. Okay. Divert attention. That is attention. Attention from what? From what? From PDS, from property girls that have been discussed and not been handled well. The mistake in uh, Aisha one, where the president admitted that it was a mistake. Meanwhile, it is the president we made a mistake by electing him. So therefore, I, but you I, didn't I, vote I was for, misled. You didn't, you didn't vote for me. No, that I said we mm -hmm. Ghanaians. You didn't vote for him. We Ghanaians. <laughs> that is it. Is he, I'm part of the is government. Is he, I think that the we all know. Too, no, I shall wind goof where he said it was a mistake. Mm -hmm. This was a mistake. You also know that in Ameri, okay. the president said he was misled. Okay, thank you. So uh, Eric it Chum. is the president who is a mistake. Eric Chum. Eric Chum says to you guys, you have double standards. Yes, you see. But I think that it's important that when we discuss issues to do with security, we are a bit careful. And I don't think that it's in anybody's interest. And this is this whole sometimes clamor for we want to know, let's see it and everything. It's it's fine. But things of this nature, even parliament, this is in parliament, they don't discuss issues of national security in in public. Mm. Even the budget that goes to the Minister of Ministry of Defense mm -hmm. and all of they those things, they do a way, they find a way of dealing he, he with it. With right? He I've heard, he no, I've heard, no, 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 no,